what is up guys jpr tech here and today we're reviewing the 2017 9 inch ipad now right off the bat i'm gonna say if ios ecosystem is good enough for your school work or your actual work then yeah it is worth it but then again is the 370 dollars you save worth the money as opposed to the more expensive pro counterpart well it's all subjected it all depends on your specific needs to put it simply do you draw or do you take notes well if so then get the pro Aside from that, well, the lack of support of the Apple Pencil and Smart Keyboard, the differences are hard to distinguish. With that said, the cheaper, dumb iPad is no slouch. For a little over $400, you get double the space in your hard drive, which might be more practical depending on your needs. And it still has a sleek iPad design while keeping the weight at a mere 465 grams. They both share the same 264 PPI, which is really sharp. Basically, you won't see the pixels up close. Even though this version only has a third generation A9 chip, it is still 64 bit, so it does run like a desktop chip. You can do multitasking a lot smoother and heavier tasks. But at this point, for basic tasks such as media consumption, documents, mail, and browsing the web, it doesn't matter which iPad you get. You won't really benefit from the faster newer A10X Fusion chip with a GPU unless you're gonna be editing and exporting 4K videos or high resolution pictures. With that said, the A9 is fine for basic photos and video editing in iMovie. Now another area where Apple cheap out on is in the camera. The highest quality we get is 1080p at 30 frames per second and only 60 frames per second are available at 720 resolution which is not high at all. So it is not 4K but that's okay the quality is still good enough. But are you really gonna be taking pictures outside with your iPad? Nah I didn't think so either. Well, all in all, still a great camera to take pictures, quick snaps, or just pictures of documents to turn into PDF. This is not a bad buy. If you just need a bigger iPhone, it's light, has great design, and the support of the countless apps, yeah, this is a great tablet. And if money is an issue, well, I recommend stepping down to the 32 gig, which is only $330, which you are stepping into the Chinese tablet budget realm. Well, thanks guys for watching this review. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that like button and support the channel. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified for future reviews and DIY videos. I hope to catch you all on the next one. Peace.